Welcome to Rawhide for Aperture. Love to shoot raw? Certainly it's the way to get the best out of your camera. The downside is that the files are big. Why keep those large master files around if the picture itself isn't amongst your best? Upon first launch, Rawhide will communicate with Aperture to determine the images you have selected within Aperture. We can change the selection in Aperture at any time, and Rawhide will receive the updated selection. With Aperture, I can export a RAW file as a JPEG and then import it back into Aperture and delete the original file. I don't need any special software to do so. You can certainly do the manual procedure I just described. For many people with simple needs, doing conversions manually is fully acceptable. However, in higher volumes, the automation of the procedure that Rawhide provides is a real time saver, especially when paired with a consistent workflow. For example, some people will create a smart album that searches their two star and below raw files. They will then regularly use Rawhide on the images in that smart album without having to worry about the projects or albums the originals are in. Rawhide places the converted images into the same project and optionally the same albums the original was in. Rawhide will also process your Photoshop and TIFF images. In fact, any image format Aperture can handle will receive the same treatment by Rawhide. There are a number of options that you'll be interested in examining. The Processing section allows you to tell Rawhide how to deal with the originals. You can select originals with their adjustments, or the originals discarding their adjustments. Rawhide also has RAW plus JPEG splitting modes that others find valuable. In the JPEG Output Settings section, you can select from a number of predefined scaling factors or a fixed size. You can also select the quality of the JPEG images that will be generated. Finally, you'll want to tell Rawhide how to treat the originals. You can tag them with customizable keywords or have their ratings set to reject. We are now ready for the conversion of the selected images. As Rawhide processes the images, all of the important metadata from the originals is also copied over to the converted JPEG. So for example, all of your comments and ratings will be copied over to the JPEG. Rawhide is now completed processing, and we can see exactly how much space we've saved. Let's go ahead and check a smart album that searches the Rawhide original keyword. This keyword is applied by Rawhide to all original images that it has processed. Next, let's check the Rawhide processed smart album. These are the new image versions that were created by Rawhide. And yes, we can confirm that any of these converted images are placed in the same project and albums that the original was in. Once satisfied with the results, we should probably go back to the Rawhide original smart album and move all of those images into Aperture's trash, eventually emptying the trash in order to free up the space. As you can see, Rawhide can streamline the task of converting raw images to JPEGs. Adopt it into your workflow today. For more information and a free demo, head on over to ssoftltd.com slash rawhide dash aperture. Rawhide is also available from the Mac App Store.